Skin cancer is actually the most common cancer in the world. And yet, you know, a lot of people still overlook the warning signs. Today, we'll break down everything you need to know in just five minutes. Causes, risk factors, symptoms, how it's diagnosed, and how to treat it. Let's protect your skin, your health, and your future. The primary cause of skin cancer is exposure to ultraviolet radiation, which comes mainly from the sun, but also from artificial sources like tanning beds and sun lamps. When you spend time outdoors without proper protection, or use tanning beds, your skin absorbs these harmful UV rays. Over time, this exposure adds up, even if you don't get sunburned every time. People with fair skin, light hair, or a history of frequent sunburns are at higher risk, but anyone can be affected. UV rays penetrate the skin and damage the DNA in your skin cells. This damage isn't always visible right away, but it accumulates over years. Eventually, the DNA changes can cause skin cells to grow out of control, leading to cancer. That's why protecting your skin from an early age is so important. Other contributing causes include having a weakened immune system, which makes it harder for your body to repair damaged skin cells. Chronic inflammation or scars on the skin can also increase your risk. Additionally, exposure to certain toxic substances like arsenic can damage skin cells and raise the likelihood of developing skin cancer. Understanding these risks can help you take steps to protect yourself. While anyone can develop skin cancer, some people are at a much higher risk than others. Understanding who is most vulnerable can help you take steps to protect yourself and your loved ones. Knowing the risk factors is crucial, as it empowers you to make informed decisions about your health and take preventive action before problems arise. People with fair skin, light-colored eyes and blonde or red hair are especially susceptible since their skin has less natural protection against harmful UV rays. If you have a history of frequent or severe sunburns, especially during childhood, your risk increases significantly. A family or personal history of skin cancer also puts you at greater risk, so it's important to discuss your background with your healthcare provider. Spending a lot of time outdoors without proper sun protection, like hats, sunscreen or protective clothing, can further increase your chances of developing skin cancer. Additionally, people who live near the equator or at high altitudes are exposed to more intense sunlight, which raises their risk even more. By being aware of these factors, you can take steps to protect your skin and reduce your risk. Skin cancer often starts silently, without any pain or discomfort, making it easy to overlook. But your skin tells a story if you pay close attention to the subtle changes that may appear over time. Early detection is key, so it's important to know what to look for and to regularly check your skin for anything unusual. Watch out for a new growth, sore or bump that doesn't heal after several weeks, especially if it bleeds, oozes, or becomes tender. These can be early warning signs that something isn't right. Pay attention to changes in an existing mole, like an increase in size, or if it suddenly looks different from the others on your body. Look for changes in shape or color such as irregular borders, asymmetry, or the appearance of multiple colors within a single spot. These are all signs that a mole may be abnormal. Also, be aware of patches of skin that bleed, itch, or develop a crust. Persistent irritation or sores that don't heal are important symptoms to notice. To help remember what to look for, keep the ABCDE rule in mind when checking your moles and spots. A stands for asymmetry, B for irregular borders, and C for uneven color. D is for diameter, larger than a pencil eraser, and E is for evolving, meaning any change over time. If you notice any of these signs, consult a healthcare professional promptly. If something looks suspicious, don't wait. Early detection can be life-saving. Most skin cancers are treatable if caught early. Treatment options depend on the type and stage. These can include surgical removal which is the most common and effective cryotherapy where the cancer cells are frozen, topical creams, radiation therapy for advanced or hard to remove cancers, and immunotherapy for aggressive types like melanoma. Protect your skin every day. Wear broad-spectrum SPF 30 or higher sunscreen, avoid tanning beds, reapply sunscreen every two hours, wear hats and protective clothing and you know do monthly self-skin checks. Skin cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable, when you stay informed. If you notice any unusual skin changes, talk to your doctor. 
Your skin is your body's largest organ. Let's keep it healthy. Like, comment, and subscribe for more health and wellness tips.